Hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel. <laughs> Hey y'all, oh, for starters, people always ask me this and I never answer it because I always say when I make a video, I'm gonna answer it. But people be like, oh my God, Irene, like how come you don't have a name for your subscribers? Like, what are we? Like, what do you call us? You guys are my beauties. Do y'all not understand? Reen's beauties. You guys are my beauties. I thought, okay, maybe I never explained it. So maybe it's my fault, but I thought that y'all knew this, like, and multiple people be asking me, they be like, what are y'all, what is, like, what do you call us? Like, what are your names for us? You guys are my beauties. My name is Irene. I dropped the I. I kept the Reen. And then you guys are my beauties. Reen's beauties. I just had to say that because people keep asking. And y'all let me know, am I tripping or did y'all not know that? That's not why we here. <laughs> this is a story time about my experience working at Guess. And... You know, I I really did not think that I had a story time for this. But when I thought about everything that happened at that job, I was like, oh, this is definitely worth the story time. So buckle up your seatbelts. And yeah, this is a story time about working with crazy managers at Guess. And let's get started. Um, If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to check out the rest of the content. And if you like what you see, what do I tell them, y'all? subscribe let's get straight into it so okay let me set the scenery for y'all y'all know if, if y'all watch my videos y'all know i always set the scenery for y'all let me set the scenery for y'all well, this story time took place when i was in college if you guys know well i'm pretty sure y'all if you watch all my videos then you know that i used to work at ulta so i was working at ulta even when i transferred over to my college but the thing is i never transferred to the Ulta location by my college and that's like a whole nother story time for a whole nother day but I just did not want to work at that location and I'm gonna save that story time for another day as to why I didn't want to work there I have a story time about that so I used to drive y'all that Ulta used to be an hour an hour away from my college campus I could not work on the weekdays because of the fact that I was going to class so I would not have the energy to go to class and then bust out that hour drive and that hour back during the weekdays. But on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if you call me, I was definitely going to Ulta. Sometimes when there was nothing going on on campus, what I would do is I would go home for the weekend and just work my shifts at Ulta. And then on Sunday, after I get done working my last shift at Ulta, I would drive back to school to get ready for the new week or whatnot. But I'm gonna be real with y'all, like I was not making as much money as I was making before, before I went to college, cause my days were cut short. Whereas before I went to college, when I was still going to community college, I was working at Ulta all throughout the week and I was making like not a lot of money, but I was making enough money to sustain me. But only working Friday, Saturday and Sunday, your girl's checks was looking very skimpy, right? So I started to think to myself, girl, you got to get a job out here. I was just thinking and I was like, you got to get a job out here. So my friend ended up applying to guests and getting the job. And I was like, I would love to work with my friend. <laughs> you know how your friend get a job and you just think you can get a job too? That's how, that's the type of time and I was on. So when she told me that she got a job at guests, I applied like right away. Like I didn't even waste no time, y'all. I applied right away. And then I don't even remember the interview process. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like I will be sitting here lying to y'all if I tell y'all I remember what happened in the interview. I don't remember. But all I know is I literally had the job like the very next the very next week I had the job right so this is my first time working in retail clothing wise like of course y'all know I worked at Ulta but that's makeup clothing wise is a whole different ball game like I've never worked at retail like in my life right they hired me right and I remember telling my friend like my friend thought I was playing mind you at that time me and her were cool but we were not like as cool as we are now so i remember telling her like yeah girl like i got a job at um at guess and she's like are you dead ass i was like yeah and she was like yay like we was happy <laughs> y'all we over here talking about some yay like we finna we finna act up like i just knew but come to find out she could not work on the weekdays so me and her schedule were so different she couldn't work on the weekdays because of her school because of school mind you my friend went to the same school as me like we were all at the same college she could not work on the weekdays because of school so she was only able to work on the weekends i could not work on the weekends because y'all know i was still working at ulta on the weekends so i was only working throughout the week so let's say i will work at guess three times a week or two times a week and then i will work at ulta 
three times a week right so i was working at, at, at least a good six or five to six times a week at both guests and ulta what i would do is because guests was close to our school i would go to work sometimes after all my classes i would take night shifts and go work at night or whatnot and then um at ulta i would go work on the weekends right and her never really got to work together it was only a couple of times where we worked together and <laughs> They did not like us, work, like us working together. We were acting a fool. I'm not going to hold y'all. We were acting a fool. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. So let me introduce this manager to y'all. We're going to call this manager Huggies. And I just said Huggies because I just see my Huggies whites. Don't ask me why I called her that. That's her name, Huggies. Huggies, I'm going to give y'all a description. Y'all know I always do. Huggies was very gorgeous, y'all. Like she was a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Huggies was um, a Hispanic girl. She was very petite, like very, very petite. I would say my height probably an inch shorter but like she was short um she was just pretty like she was just a very pretty girl but huggies was very standoffish and i always used to hear rumors about huggies being standoffish but i never knew because i didn't really work shifts with her in the beginning of me working at guests so people will say stuff like huggies is kind of mean and stuff like that she standoffish she like she does this she does that but y'all i i didn't know the girl i didn't know the girl mind you huggies was like i'm gonna say at that time how old was i when i worked at guest i'm gonna say i was 21 right 22 i'm gonna say huggies was like 28 29 like she was in her late 20s we were all in our early 20s and everybody that worked at guest went to pv because yeah like almost everyone that worked at guest went to pv it was only a couple of people that worked at guest that did not go to pv but almost everyone that worked at guest went to the university so we all kind of would talk with each other and stuff and i just kept hearing rumors that she was standoffish and she was mean but like i said before i ain't never worked with the girl so i didn't know i, I didn't i didn't, ha I didn't have no opinion on her right but y'all i literally went from not working with huggies to literally working with huggies all the time so working with huggies was not like terrible but she was not likable everything that they said about her was true she was not likable she was very standoffish she used to sit in the back and watch the cameras i hate managers that do that like bitch go find something to do like why are you mind you if you're gonna sit in the back and watch the cameras watch the people that's still in why are you watching your workers girl be for real and then she had this rule that we could not use our phones at all when we were on the clock but huggies will literally be on her phone 24 7 like when i say 24 7 24 7 and then like she would try to make it look like she's on her phone um what you gonna call it and it's work related i'm looking like no boo you're not it's not work related and i y'all i barely use my phone at that job but if somebody shooting me a text i will like i'm i'm you know if somebody shoot it not a, not even a text if somebody called me i will pull out my phone and see who's calling like if my mom is calling me and my mom for the most part knows my schedule if she's calling me like I need to make sure like she's good you know what I mean so I wouldn't answer the phone but I would just be like okay no that my mom's calling me and then I would ask when like we weren't that busy if I could go to the restroom and then I'll probably call her back or I'll text her because I knew that they did not like us on the phone but like y'all as soon as I will pull my phone out of my pocket she will come on the headset and be like no phones no phones Irene no phones I'm like damn why are you watching me what why are you watching me for that means you literally looking at me like a hawk because I just pulled out this phone. How do you know that I'm on this phone? So I will put the phone right back in my pocket, but she will literally come out of the uh, break room and she'll be on her phone. And then I will literally take a glance at her phone and she's texting like she was always texting somebody. And you could tell like it was a guy like you could tell that she was texting a guy like y'all know how us girls be looking when we're texting a guy that we're talking to like it was given that it wasn't given that she was texting a company or a co-worker it wasn't given that it was given that she was flirting back and forth with a guy so i was just looking at her like so you can be on your phone but i can't even pull out my phone for a second to see who's calling me without you getting on the headset and yelling no phones no phones i was like uh-uh like you just doing too much it was one day that i don't know what happened but i pulled out my phone and y'all i kid you not i did not play on my phone at this job they said no phones no phones but like if i ever pulled out my phone it was for something like you know what i mean so something happened and i pulled out my phone for a quick second i looked at the phone and then i put the phone right back in my pocket and then i went back to folding clothes that day i think i had uh i think she did she used to give me folded clothes or did she used to give me dresser dressing room i think she either, i don't know i don't remember what she gave me 
But I think that day I was folding clothes. Yeah, I was folding clothes that day. I literally looked at the phone and then I just went right back to folding clothes. She comes out of the break room about a good five minutes later. I'm folding clothes. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm just doing my own little thing. And she's like, hey, mind you, this is her with her phone. And she's like, hey, Irene. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, no phones. Bitch, I looked at her phone. Because I know that's not chips in your hand. That's a phone. So if there's no phones, then you need to put yours away as well. So I looked at her phone because I'm like, so I said, and she said, I'm using my phone for my, like, y'all, my job, I didn't even say anything. Like she, <laughs> I didn't even say anything to her. I just looked at her phone and she knew what I was doing. But then she comes, here she comes. I'm using my phone for emergency reasons only, only for emergency reasons for towards the uh, company. I'm messaging the, the district manager. I'm like, yeah, all right. Like, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying what you're trying to sell me, but all right. So I just, I just got, got quiet. I'm like, whatever, girl. Like, I'm not really worried about you. She hated her job. She was friends with this gay guy. Her and him were like friends outside the job. That's the only person that she would like, like, be nice towards. Everybody else, she was weird towards us. She was just very standoffish. She acted as if like, she just was not a, she was not a welcoming manager. Like she was not a, mo she was a mean girl to say the least. She wasn't a mean girl in the sense of bullying. She wasn't a bullying type of manager, but she was just a very standoffish manager. Like if you go up to her and you say, Huggy, I have a question about something. She will literally look at you like this. Yeah, what? Bitch, why are you doing all that for? You're a manager. Like, what? You're weird. And so all the allegations that people said about her was true. But, bitch, every time I see her on this phone, they've been smiling like she won the lottery. So I'm looking like you're a liar. Like, you're not texting the district manager and smiling like that. Who are you texting? The gay guy who was, a, who was also a manager at the job, he was below her. He, I used to work with him. He was pretty cool. He would come and tell us, hey, I need y'all to do A, B, C, D. But, like... He wasn't like, he wasn't mean or nothing. Like, he was pretty cool. He was kind of standoffish too, but he was cool. Like, he wasn't a mean manager. So when I used to work with him, it was pretty good. Like, it was nothing serious that used to go on when I would work with him. But when I would work with her, it was just always something. So I remember one day I was working a shift with her. She tells me that she's going to leave. So she tells me, hey, I just want to let you know I'm going to be quitting. Um, I think she put in her two weeks, right? And so I was like, oh, really? And she was like, yeah, I put in my two weeks. So you guys are going to get a new, oh my God, what? Hair is in my face, y'all, sorry. So she was like, yeah, I put in my two weeks. So you guys are going to get a new GM. So um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. So when you see the new GM, you're not confused. I don't know what the Huggies thought that she was gonna leave right then and there, but she just became so sloppy, y'all. So one day, she had me working in the front. I wasn't folding clothes, I was checking people out in the front. And this guy comes in. Let me give y'all a description to him. He's like an average height. I'm gonna say like six foot, 5'11". Like he's average height, average male height. He is, um, you could tell he works out. He is, he looks like a Hispanic Miami boy. I know those like, and I'm not talking about the Hispanic Miami boys of today. I'm talking about, you remember them Hispanic Miami boys from back in the 80s, like during the Scarface era, that type of era, like that movie type of era. He was dressed like that and he looked like that. He had his hair slicked back. Like he gave like very 80s, 90s type of vibe. He was very handsome. I ain't gonna lie, he was very handsome. And he comes into the store and he comes up to me cause I was the cashier and I was the only cashier at that time. And he's like, hey, could you call Huggies to the front? Mind y'all, Huggies used to just sit in the back and watch the cameras all day long. That's all she used to do and then regulate everything that we would do that's literally all she would used to do it's like oh okay <laughs> so she's so i call her and i'm like hey huggy somebody wants you to come to the front and she she comes on the headset she's like how does he look like am i no she comes on the headset and she sounds upset like you can tell she don't want to come to the front she was like how do they look like like who is who is calling for me and i'm like um it's like a hispanic guy he wants you to come up here she's like okay i'm coming I'm like, something going on, baby, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. You feel me? Bitch, I don't have nothing better to do on the clock, so I might as well snoop and see what's going on. Something something fishy going on. So after I got done talking to her, I told him, I'm like, she said she's coming, and he's like, okay, okay. So she came to the front. When she came to the front, she's like, Irene, do you want to go on break? Something is going on. 
something fishy is going on them motherfuckers used to never ask us if we wanted to go on break like when i say never never break was not break wasn't break did not exist at guests i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all when we when, when i first got hired they try to make it look like oh if you work a certain amount of hours you can take a 15 if you work this you can take a 30 this is that y'all if like break was really not a thing at guess like it really wasn't a thing i guess it's something that you had to ask and then they will let you go because mind you the the guest that i worked at was in a, a outlet mall a premium outlet mall so like people will go get like food real quick and then come back you know so break wasn't really a thing and they never asked us to take a break like you have to ask if you don't ask to take a break you don't get to take a break. And then some days they would not even let you take a break depending on how busy they were. So for her to come and tell me to take a break, it's like she was trying to dismiss me from him and her. And I wanted to see what was going on. So when she said, Irene, do you want to take a break? Bitch, I said no. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to take a break. You know what she did, y'all? She went and gave me her card and was like, could you please go to Starbucks and buy me um she gave me her order she she said she's gonna text me her order and then she also told me that i could buy what i wanted on her card i'm like uh-uh something not right this lady ain't nice this lady is not nice at all she is not nice whatsoever to ever give me her card for her to even trust me with her card is crazy like i was just like okay shit like i ain't tripping i I used to love starbucks around that time so i wasn't tripping so i ended up going to starbucks break ended up being like a 30 something minute break because the starbucks line was wrapped around so i just was in the line for a long time and i'm over here thinking that she i'm waiting for her to call me on the headset like where are you like this is and that she did not call me nothing like and i was like wow so i come back in with both of our drinks or whatnot and her card and when i come in the gentleman that i described to y'all is still sitting in the front and they're still talking y'all when they are talking they're giving each other the eyes they are looking at each other like i'm talking about the like everything is yeah so i'm like okay this hello boo thing like i could tell like i already put two and two together i'm like this hello boo thing like i could tell so as soon as i come in it's like she stops giving him the eyes but the way guests was set up the guest had glass like glass windows so i could see him before i went inside and i've seen the way they were looking at each other so after she sees me she ends up taking her drinks and her card and then i'm like thank you and i go to the back to go put my drink up you know and come back up to the front because she ended up sitting in the front and checking people out until i came back and we, we were not busy that day like we were actually very slow you know on the weekdays it's pretty slow something well sometimes it will be it will it would not be slow but for the most part on the weekdays it was pretty slow right i end up sipping a little bit of my drink and then i end up coming back to the front and checking people out and she literally like as soon as he left she went back to her mean girl spirit like she literally was being a mean girl again she had this moody face on she literally went right back to the back and started checking cameras again and regulating stuff she just went right back to doing like what she was doing before he came but at that time i'm like okay she definitely is talking to him and i was just thinking to myself why doesn't she want me to see her talking to him like the way she was acting with him was like she wasn't supposed to be talking to him right so let's fast forward her little friend and i'm thinking should we give him a name we're gonna name him i don't we're not gonna name him we're just gonna call her her friend which is the gay guy the other manager let's just call him the other manager so the other manager starts talking like when i say talking i mean talking and he wasn't talking to me but like i said all of us used to not all of us majority of us used to go to pv so we all just kind of became cool just because just off of the simple fact that we all went to the same university you know and he ends up telling one of the girls that worked there that she was that huggies was messing with a married man and the girl and me we were cool at that time so the girl ends up telling me like are you dead ass and she she's like yeah they said huggies is messing with a married man and i'm like who is this married guy and the girl ends up saying he works at this store across from this this and that y'all after this girl got done describing how he looked and everything it was that same guy that she was sitting there talking to and made me go to starbucks so she could have a whole flirt search session with him so y'all i'm looking like wow like this man is married and y'all this this is my thing y'all see the way huggies tried to always carry herself this used to always try to carry herself like she was just 
bougie like like the vibe that sis gave off was that she would never talk to a married man like that's just the like she gave off very bougie regina george vibe so to see that she was talking to a man a married man was crazy and everything made sense in my head because i'm like this is the reason why she tried her best to get me the hell out of there when she was talking to him because she's doing something that she has no business doing and this is the reason why she's always on that phone she's texting that nigga 24 7 she want to sit up here and tell me that I can't be on my phone just for me looking at my phone and putting it away. He's saying, oh, you can't be on your phone. But you literally texting this man all throughout your shit and you're fucking a married man. Like, it was just weird. And I was just like, wow. And me and the girl were talking about it and I was telling the girl basically everything I told y'all is what I ended up telling the girl. And then I come to find out I was looking I was looking at the other manager like, you're messy because this is supposed to be your home skillet biscuit. This is like, y'all supposed to be two peas in a pot. Y'all knew each other before y'all started working here. The fact that you're sitting here and you're telling all of this girl's business is crazy. And like I said, she was leaving. So I feel like because she was leaving, he just became like, he just felt like he could say whatever he want. I'm looking at him like, be careful and be very mindful of what you're saying because you telling one person and that person came and told me and only God knows who else she told. But yeah, y'all, she was messing with a married man and before, she, until she left, that continued. Like she just became very sloppy. He would come in. As soon as he would come in, like I will automatically know. Like as soon as he would come in, I'll be like, Huggies somebody's here to see you and she would know and she would run to the front she got to the point where she started going to the corner to talk to him and then like she will be like messing with the clothes like mind you let's say he's sitting here let's say she's here and let's say the clothes rack is in front of her she'll be like messing with the clothes but like talking to him to kind of because sometimes the district managers they will look at our cameras i'm not gonna lie sometimes they will watch us so she will be like messing with the clothes to make it look like he's a customer and she's helping him and i was just looking at her like you're trifling like you're trifling as hell like talking to a married man and like you're just trifling like you're like you're trifling but like if i was to do that if I was to be here talking to somebody on the clock, like, you will feel some type of way, but you can do it, right? Like, I just did not care for her. Like, I just did not care for her. Um, yeah, like, I just I just really did not care for her. I'm going to be real with you. I didn't care for her. You can ask her a question and she will answer it. So, like, be like, yeah, it's da, da da Like, she'll try to act nice. And I'm like, babe, this is not how you act when he's not here. So, please, put on that real personality so he can see how you really act, you know? He ends up leaving and I'm like good like she will not be missed <laughs> like she will not be missed and she ends up going to be a manager at this other store that one of my old managers um that worked at Ulta ended up going to be a manager at so one day when I was at Ulta my old manager comes in not not Huggies this is one of my other managers and I was like do you work with Huggies? And then my manager was like, how do you know Huggies? Because she was just thinking like, how do you know her? And I said, oh, she used to be my manager at Guess. I know she moved to your to your location. My man, my old manager was like, oh my God, yes, um, I love her. And then I told my old manager, I said, I don't like her. <laughs> my job, what was the point of me doing that? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. That's just how it was back then. So I was like, I don't like her. <laughs> and then my old manager said my, mind you me and my old manager we were mad cool we got into a lot of fights at Ulta but we were like cool towards the end and I told story times on her if y'all remember the story times that I told about her when she got mad because I told the manager because I told one of the customers that the store was hot if y'all remember y'all remember so basically we had like a falling out but then we became cool again right before she left so me and her was like real cool like we was mad cool so Oh, you know, I told her, I was like, I don't like Huggy. And she said, she she pulled me to the side. She said, bitch, who do you like? And when I tell you, mind you, she's Asian. She said, bitch, who do you like? And when I tell you, I bursted out laughing. She said, bitch, you didn't like me at one point in time, Irene. And I was laughing, but I, I just, I did not care for Huggies. Like, I didn't care for Huggies because I don't like the fact, like, you put up a front. Like, you acting one way, doing, like, you just weird. Like, you're weird, right? So Huggies ends up leaving and at this time I'm thinking to myself, cool, like that's good, Huggies left, let us get a manager. I found out that we were getting a black lady. And so I was kind of happy, y'all. Like, I was kind of happy and I was thinking to myself, like this should be good, like this should be good. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. So we're going to give her a name, we're going to call her Extra. Extra. That's what we're going to call her, Extra. Extra, read all about it. We're going to call her Extra. So at this time, Extra ends up coming in. Extra is a dark-skinned woman. She has the Fantasia haircut. She's on the thicker side, like kind of thick, not really. Like, kind, yeah, kind, like a little bit on the thicker side. And she's dark-skinned. 
and she comes in and y'all i hate it extra more than i hated huggies i hated that lady like i don't know what it is with me but i always peep people's energy from the beginning like i always know when somebody not good from the very beginning ask any of my friends families or anyone and when she came in, I just was not messing with her energy. Like, I don't know what it was, but like, I just was not messing with her energy. She looked like she had this type of attitude of like, don't talk to me. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do that. She gave like micromanager type of vibes. And she also gave standoffish vibes like Huggies times 20. So at this point, I'm like, damn, bitch, Huggies, come back. <laughs> Baby, come back. <laughs> like, come back, come back, come back. I was just kidding. I like you. Come back. So... She comes in and she she doesn't even introduce herself, y'all. Like, I never got a, like, a introduction of her. Like, all she said was, hey, I'm extra. What's your name? And I was like, my name's Irene. She's like, I'm the general manager. I'm like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. And she walked away. I was just like, okay. So then she comes and she's like, so we're going to be doing things different here. I'm like, no, the fuck we not? Bitch, you just supposed to come in and fill in for what Huggies was doing. We're not doing nothing different here, baby. She told my son, it's no reason why none of y'all have guest uniforms. Y'all, because my job, the dress code at guest was nothing. The dress code at guest was just dress stylish. Like, put on a cute fit, dress stylish. Make sure that it's appropriate. Make sure you're not wearing, like, of course, like, no booty shorts or, or mini skirts that show your ass, of course. But, like, just dress stylish. That was dead ass just the dress code at guest. Here she comes. I don't understand why none of y'all are wearing guests. The customers come inside and they ask you if this shirt is nice. How you gonna tell them it's nice? I got eyes and the customer got eyes so if the customer is asking me if the shirt is nice the customer needs to put the fucking shirt down if the customer is asking me if the shirt is nice then obviously the shirt ain't nice because I don't got to look at a shirt and, 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 and ask somebody else whether it's nice or not to know that it's nice like what are you talking about okay like I didn't I didn't work all and slave all these hours for me to put money right back into the company I mean I do that at Ulta but that's different like that's makeup I don't like guest clothes and quite frankly, I cannot fit guest clothes. Guest clothes are not plus size friendly at all. <laughs> guest clothes are not plus size friendly unless you're buying like boy t-shirts. So here she comes. All of y'all, y'all have to wear at least one type of guest outfit, one type of guest clothing. Y'all have to buy it. Y'all have to buy it. It's a must. Y'all have to buy it by Friday. Mind y'all. Bitch, Friday, none of us got paid. So I'm looking at her like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean by Friday, Buki? I don't got no money in this account. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I have money, but I just did not want to buy guest clothes. Like, I did not care for guest clothes, and I didn't want to buy it. So she tells us that we have to buy guest clothes, and Friday comes around, and I told y'all, I, I didn't want to buy it. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't want to buy it. So, um... I come in with my regular outfits that I usually wear to guests. She's like, is there any reason why you have not bought none of the guest clothes that I told y'all to buy by Friday? And I said, y'all, I'm very defiant. I said, none of them fit me because none of them fit me. And she said, come on, come on, bitch. I'm looking like, no, no, like I'm not coming on. So she's like, come on, come on. Like, just like that, y'all with that type of attitude. She's like, come on, come on. So I follow her around the store and like, y'all, she took me to the boys section, y'all. She took me to the freaking boys section and she started picking out a whole bunch of guest t-shirts and she was like, you can buy this, you can buy this. Like she started picking up a whole bunch of guest t-shirts and basically telling me that I can wear all those guest shirts, th these guest boy shirts. She said, they fit you. I said, those are boy shirts. She said, okay, and she said, I have some of these shirts. I bought some of these t-shirts. Like, what are you talking about? And so I'm like, <sighs> so I said, okay, well, I don't have the money. And then she said, mm. she, she, that's how, that's dead as what she's, she was like, mm. I was like, yeah, I don't have the money. Like we didn't get paid. Like I don't have the money. And then she said, okay, she said, okay, well by next week, you make sure that you have your outfit. Make sure that you buy something by next week, this, this, and that. So I was like, okay. So she ends up walking away, right? I still work at Ulta. Still work at Ulta on the weekends. So I told them, this is what I told them. Because I work at Ulta on Fridays. And I didn't have no classes on Fridays around that time. So I told them, I said that if y'all want me to work on Fridays, 
I can work on Fridays, but y'all have to give me a morning shift so I could be able to drive to Ulta right after and work my night shift that I usually work. And Huggies was fine with that. Huggies never really had me working on Fridays. Sometimes she would have me working on Fridays, but because I told her the conflict that I had with working at Ulta on Friday, she kind of would not really even do that. But Extra was being extra and had me working like every Friday. And let's say I will work at Ulta. I usually used to work at Ulta 4 to 10. Extra would put me on the clock from 10 to 4. And I'm just looking at her. Like, mind you, when she started working, I literally gave this lady a whole map out of my schedule. Like I showed her my entire schedule and told her that this is usually what my schedule consists of every week. I usually always work at 4 p.m. at Ulta on Fridays. Please do not schedule me nothing around anything less than two for me to get off so I can have enough time to get through traffic to get to Ulta. And she said, okay. So I'm looking at the schedule and I'm thinking to myself, mind you, Guests used to drop their their schedules the week of. Like, they will send you a text the week of with your whole schedule mapped out. Whereas Ulta would give you your schedule like three weeks before, a month before sometimes. So, I'm looking at this schedule and I'm thinking to myself, didn't I tell this coconut head lady that I work at Ulta on Fridays at 4? Why did she schedule me on Fridays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.? When am I going to get time to go to Ulta? So... I ended up going into work before that Friday came and she was my closing manager and I told her I was like hey you schedule me to work till 4 p.m. on Friday she's like okay yeah what about it and I'm like I work at Ulta at 4 p.m. how am I gonna be able to go from guests to Ulta if I like what am I gonna do here she come honestly Irene I've been thinking to myself I don't find it fair for other workers to come and work all these different other hours and then you only come and you only work a couple of hours. She's like, what is a 10 to 2? What is an 11 to 2? She said, that's only a, what's a 10 to 2? Uh, 11, 12, 1. She, I think it was like a four hour shift. She said, what is 10 to 2? That's only a four hour shift. That's not fair to the other workers who come in and work six, seven hour shifts. That's not fair. Mind you, I'm looking at her like, bitch, I don't give a damn what's fair. <laughs> If you ask me, I don't care. I told you what I had to tell you. Figure it out. So I'm like, in my head, I'm really thinking. So you went against what I told you. And mind you, y'all, I kid you not, every time I talked to Extra, I kept thinking of Huggies. Because it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. We were sitting up here talking all this shit about Huggies, about how she's not a good manager, she's standoffish, this, this, and that. This lady here is crazy. Like, <laughs> she is crazy, you know? Like, she already got us buying clothes to work at guests. And y'all already know, if you're going to go work at guests, you can't just buy one outfit. You're not going to wear one outfit to guests every time. You got to buy at least three different outfits to put in rotation. Three, four different outfits to put in rotation so you can have different stylish outfits. So you got us putting our money back into the company that barely pays us minimum wage. Then you go and you change my schedule after I told you and I when you first started working what my schedule was and you agreed to it. But then you change it because you feel I don't care how you feel. OK, mind you, it was a lot of people on payroll at that job. It was a lot of college kids on payroll. So find somebody else to do it. Because Ulta already made these schedules a month in advance i can't go and call my ulta manager and say oh by the way i'm working at guest so i'm gonna get a point and ulta was very like serious about the point system and i had a lot of points if y'all know if y'all remember my ulta story times i had a lot of tardy points because of the fact that i used to be late to work so i'm over here looking like babe like if I don't go to work at four, I'm going to have a point. Like, I'm not trying to do that, you know? So she basically gets done telling me, giving me the whole rundown about how it's not fair that I can only work four hours while everybody else slaves and works seven hours, blah, 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 blah. Bitch, I'm not listening. After she said that, bitch, I don't know nothing else. She said, what did Rich Homie Kwan say? Rest in peace to Rich Homie Kwan. But what did he say? I'm going to be like, blah, 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 blah. Like, bitch, whatever you saying, I'm going to be like, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't care what you're saying i already told you what i had to tell you i'm not working till four so she gets done talking and i'm like okay i understand that i said but 
I'm just letting you know that I cannot do that. Like I already like Ota already makes my schedule a month in advance and I'm going to get in trouble if I don't come into work. I'm going to get a point and they take their point system very serious. Oh, well, she's just looking at me, y'all. Like literally y'all, we're in the back and she's just staring at me. The way she's staring at me is like she want to slap me. All jokes aside, like she's like And then we're just staring at each other, y'all. Like we're just we're just staring at each other. No conversation, no nothing. We're just looking at each other. So I kind of break the ice because I'm like, this bitch is not understanding. So I kind of give her a resolution and I'm like, well, what we can do is maybe you could just take me off the schedule for Friday. And then I could probably like, you know, just work Mondays and Wednesdays because that's because I used to work Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I guess. So I was like, I could probably just work Mondays and Wednesdays and then you could just take me off for Fridays. And she's like, I'll figure something out. Like she said it just like that. I'm like. Bitch, you better, like, I don't give a fuck, yeah, you better figure it out, because I don't care now, with your little attitude. So I walked off, because I'm like, uh-uh, ho, you doing too much for my liking, mm, you doing way too much. So when that Friday came, y'all, when 2 o'clock came, bitch, I dipped, and she was looking at me like, y'all, she was me mugging the hell out of me. I did not care. Like, I did not care. I did not care. I already told you, that's why I had to tell you. So nobody told you to come up here and make this schedule like that. I already told you. At this time, y'all... Christmas is approaching. Christmas is approaching. About to be in the Christmas era. She decides to tell us that she wants to have a Christmas party because she said that she feels like she doesn't know any of us and she wants to get to know us more. Mind you, she was working there for about a month before we got to the Christmas party. And I'm looking at her, mind you, I got hired, I got hired at guests in the summertime before school started. And at this time, it's like December, like it's December, right? She's like, yeah, like I want to get to know y'all. Like I feel like I don't know y'all. And in my head, I'm thinking to myself, you don't know us because you don't want to know us. She was very standoffish, y'all. If y'all thought that what I said about Huggies, no, like she was Huggies times 10. She was very standoffish. She was very, like just, she had like this type of spirit to her. Her, this like I don't know like she had this weird spirit to her and I could tell she did not like me like even before that situation with the Ulta thing I knew that she did not like me and I remember I used to tell my friend this lady don't like me and my friend thinks everything is a joke but you could tell her that your arm hurts she gonna be there in the corner laughing she ain't funny my arm hurt that's just how my friend is like she laughs at stupid situations so I'm telling her like I don't think extra like me and she's in the corner <laughs> Bitch, I'm not Bernie Mac. I didn't tell a joke. I'm telling you the truth. This lady don't like me. So, yeah, she thought everything was funny, right? So, we gather around and we get ready to go to the dinner. The Not the dinner. Was it like a dinner? It was kind of like a Christmas party dinner because she had all of us cooking something and bringing, bringing something to the job. And then um, she basically shut down the job early so we could have the Christmas party and everybody brought a dish. I forgot what I brought, but I know I did not cook. I know I brought something like chips or like juice or something or candy. I brought something that like you can buy at the store because I'm like, I am not cooking for y'all. Like, it's not that deep. We had the Christmas party and I didn't think anything of it because we used to have Christmas parties at Ulta too. So I'm like, okay, yeah, like this is, this is normal. Like, it's a Christmas party. It's normal. Like, you know? So I remember she seen, um me in the parking lot she didn't even say hi like she didn't even say oh hey Irene nothing like she kind of just looked at me and looked away and I'm just like okay so mind you me and my friend my friend ends up accompanying me and we both end up walking inside and then she comes inside and she's like can somebody can one of y'all help me with such and such she bought a lot of stuff so she needed help bitch I just sat back Bitch, I sat back. Mind you, when she was asking, she was like looking around and like, but she kept making eye contact with me. She was like, can one of y'all help me to get such and such out of my, like pretend I'm over there. She was like, can one of y'all help me to get such and such out of my car? Bitch, you need to look back over there because I'm not helping you do shit, bitch. I'm not even helping you say hello. <laughs> I say, hey, what's up? Hello. See your pretty ass soon as you came through the door. Yeah. Bitch, you didn't tell me how, so I'm not helping you do nothing. So I'm just looking. I'm like, hmm. So, you know, my friend, <laughs> mind you, my friend peeps all my petty things, everything. So she, she thinks this shit is funny because I already didn't told my friend, I don't like this lady. Like, and I told my friend, I don't think this lady likes me. You know, my friend thinks it's so funny. And I told my friend too, I'm a quit. Like I told her, I said, I'm a quit. Cause like, I just, 
I can't like I can't like it's already a lot working at Ulta I'm not about to have an issue I guess here too and I don't know what it is but like I really do not know what it is with my spirit but some people just do not like me and you know I got it to the point in my life where I don't care like if you don't like me I don't care and I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the victim because I do dead ass be doing shit sometimes but it be instances where people do not like me from the very beginning and I'm just like, what the fuck did I do to you? And it was one of that with her. Like, I just knew she did not like me. We end up setting up the whole entire table and we all end up sitting around the cash wrap and she basically has all of us eating. So we're all eating our food. And so after we get, after like about a good 20 minutes of all of us eating, she ends up um, saying, okay, y'all, so we're gonna go around the table and we're gonna introduce ourselves. We're gonna introduce, I think she said we're gonna introduce ourselves. We're gonna introduce um, if we're whether whether we're in we're at school or not, and we're also gonna introduce a talent or a hobby that um, that any one of us has. Mind you, everybody going around introducing themselves, telling what type of talent they have. She's literally looking. She's like, oh wow! Like, let's say this one boy went around and he said, hey, my name is uh, Javante. Um, a talent of mine is rapping. Let's just say, I, nothing like that happened, but let's just, I'm gonna give y'all an example. He was like, oh really, rapping? Like, how long you been rapping for? He's like, I've been rapping since I was a such and such. Like, I like playing with beats also. Like, I'm really good at producing beats, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, okay. She's like, okay, I like that. Everybody, she said, okay, like, that's good, that's good. As soon as it got to me, y'all, she went from smiling to looking like this. Should we skip me and go to the next person? Because, bitch, you don't look like you even want to know who I am. Like, you looking at me like I slapped you or something. What's going on? So, I'm like, hey, y'all, mind you, I see her bad energy from a mile away, but I ignore her. She's one, one monkey don't stop the show. You know what I mean? Like, I still, I'm still, you know, like, she don't bother me. I'm not letting her phase me. Like, I see her negative looking at me. I see her me mugging me, but I'm not worried about her at all. So, I'm like, hey, y'all, my name is Irene. I do go to school. And a favorite talent of mine is makeup. I love makeup. Mind y'all, I never used to wear makeup to that job because I didn't care to. I used to go to this job after classes. What, am I supposed to sit down and do a full beat? No, like what? So I said one of my favorite hobbies is makeup. As a matter of fact, I also know how to draw on my face. I'm very good at art. I can draw anything on my face that you show me. I can draw a butterfly. I can draw anything on my face. So yeah, that's my favorite. That's my talent of mine. Girl, bye. <laughs> Who's saying bye? Because last time I checked, huh, the Christmas party is still going on. So who's saying bye? So bitch, I have to mind you, when I'm talking, we're all sitting in a huddle. So I'm like talking to everyone and I'm looking around. As soon as I hear girl bye, it came from that direction. I literally look and I'm like, and she was like, bye. Like she was like, you a liar. A liar, y'all. This bitch called me a liar. She said, you're a liar. She said, I've been working here for a month now. I ain't never seen no type of makeup or nothing on your face. Nothing like that. Like, you a liar. Like, you could have came up with another talent, but you didn't need to lie. Y'all, when I tell you she pissed me off so badly. And, I'm, and you know the funny thing is? I always tell my friends this. Whenever I know somebody don't like me, I always peep it before the shit go down. Like, I always peep when somebody don't like me before it really, like, gets out of hand. And then whenever I be like, such and such don't like me, my friends be always thinking that I'm tweet, that I'm tripping, or that I'm, like, exaggerating. And then, when shit pop off, they be like, oh, you was right. Duh, like, I knew this lady did not like me. And when she did that, that pissed me off. Because the thing is, these motherfuckers told you that they rappers. These motherfuckers told you that they, why you didn't fact check them? Okay? If, like, you know what I mean? Like, people was telling you all types of weird shit. Why you didn't fact check them? Motherfuckers was telling you that they, that they know how to swim. Have you ever seen them swim? They could have been lying about that. Motherfuckers were saying that they, they good at the guitar. Have you ever seen them play the guitar? They could have been lying about that. But how come I come up here and I say that I know how to draw and I'm really good at makeup? You tell me I'm lying. Bitch, who are you that I need to lie to? And why are you interrupting me while I'm talking? Mind you, when I was talking, she said it while I was talking. And that made me so angry, y'all. 
Mind you, I never used to talk at that job. I was a bear, I was a mute mouse at that job because I didn't care. I didn't I didn't like that job. That job was boring. So I was very mute. There was only one girl that I used to talk to a lot at that job. But other than that, I was very mute. When she did that, she honestly pissed me off so badly. So mind you, my friend is sitting here. So my friend is looking at me like, and of course, you, my friend has a smile on her face. My friend thought all this stuff was funny. So I looked at her and I'm gonna name my friend Jackie, right? So I said, Jackie, Jackie. <laughs> Y'all, I am childish, y'all. Y'all, when I get mad, I am childish. I said, Jackie, Jackie, is my nose growing? Is my nose growing? Jackie, is my nose growing? And Jackie is laughing, y'all, because Jackie knows my humor. Like, Jackie knows my humor. You know how your friend just knows your humor. Everybody around is looking confused. Like, everyone's looking like, why she keep asking if my nose is growing? Bitch, is my nose growing? Because you calling me a liar. Am I Pinocchio? Like, is the fucking nose growing or not? Like, who are you talking to? Shut up when I'm talking. Like, I really got mad. Like, who are you talking to? So I said, Jackie, Jackie, is my nose growing? Is my nose growing? I said, oh, okay. Oh, okay. And I looked at her like, bitch, who are you? Like, what are you talking about? So then she said, what do you mean is your nose growing? I said, am I Pinocchio? And she said, anyways, next, next, next. Like, she, she like, basically, like, sh like, rushed me off. She's like, next, next, next. She's like, next. She said, this is the most you talk since, 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 since I've got in here. Yeah, because bi I don't talk to bitches that I don't like. And I knew, and I don't talk to bitches that I know don't like me. Like, fuck out of here. So, she basically brushed me off. Like, awesome, like, move around. Mind you, my friend is laughing so hard, y'all. Like, she's laughing so hard. Everybody around, and mind you, my friend is laughing and she's telling me to stop. Like, she's like, stop. Because I, y'all, I lost my cool. Like, all jokes aside, like, I dead ass lost my cool. It's just like, bitch, I been knew you had an issue with me. Like, what's your problem? Like, stop trying to punk me. Just because I've been sitting here quiet when you do little tiny things, putting me on schedules and just doing little weird things. Just because I've been quiet don't mean I'm a punk. I am not a punk. Please do not test me because you will fail the test that you gave me. So after I did that, like y'all, her hatred for me went through the roof. She hated me so much. After I yelled and, and was asking my friend, is my nose growing and my Pinocchio? <laughs> my, I don't even know what made me say that y'all. Like I've never made a comment like that before, but I really wanted my friend to let me know. Like did my nose grow? Like who are you calling a liar? Like what are you talking about? Y'all, after I said that, she she tried to make my life a living hell. She started putting me in the back and working on kids clothes. If you work at retail, you know that working at the kids clothes area is the worst area to work at because the parents just be rummaging through the kids clothes. The kids just be rummaging through the kids clothes and that whole area be dirty and it takes forever to clean. Like you will literally clean one area of the kids clothes. You will turn around to help a customer and you will look right back at that area and the kids clothes is trashed all over again. That same area that you clean looks a hot mess all over again. Kids clothes was the worst area to clean because kids and parents were very like they were very finicky, throwing things around and everything, right? I never worked in the kids' area. Like, I, I didn't even get trained to work in the kids' area, y'all. Because they never had me working in the kids' area. I always used to work in the women's area or the dressing room or the front, the, the cashier. So, I remember one time she comes up to me and she's like, Hey, I want you in the kids' area. And I was like looking at her so confused because I never worked in the kids area all this time that I've, that I've worked at this job. And she's like, why are you looking at me like that? I said, I never worked in the kids area. She said, how long you been working here? Bitch, I don't give a fuck if I've been working here since 1987. Bitch, I told you I ain't do it. What is that gonna solve? Bitch, I said I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Like, what are you talking about? You gonna call me a liar now again? You know, so I'm like, since the summer. She's like, and they never trained you for the kids area? I said, no. She's like, well, come on, you finna get trained today, come on. And so she went over there to that area and then she barely trained me, y'all. Like, I don't even know what type of training she thought she was doing, but she was not doing it. But because I had been working at Guest for a while now, I kind of got what she was doing. But you could tell that she was purposely not training me enough. Like, you could tell that she was only telling me a couple of things. And like, you know, y'all know, if you work at 
retail retail is very tedious and you have to set up the clothes a certain way and you have to put like all this shit right like you could tell she was cookie cuttering and the clothes area was very different from any other area in the store and like she just did not want to explain it to me so i had to start asking my co-workers for help because she did not want to explain it to me like after i yelled at her and asked her whether my nose was growing or not she hated me from that moment like she was just very mean to me and whatnot i didn't care because i already put in my head i'm leaving soon because i can't i can't deal with you bitch i can't you're annoying so i started asking my co-workers for help and me and this one girl started becoming friends with each other and extra liked her but she did not like me so whenever that girl will come over there she will get on the intercom and be like um please get away from irene so irene can work baby like please irene you need to be working you do not need to be playing over there you need to be working and i'm looking at the lady like I am working. She's helping me with the with um, how to do such and such. And she's like, any questions you have, you need to ask me. And I'm looking like, I'm not asking you nothing. Bitch, I'm not even asking you for my check. Give me direct deposit. Bitch, I don't trust you. Like, no. So I just need to be like, whatever. Then there will be times where she would tell me I could not take breaks. Mind you, she would literally, she used to have me working long hours. When Huggies was... The manager, Huggies, will only have me working like six hours or five hours. But when she was the manager, she would have us work, have me working like a good seven hour shift. And when I would ask for breaks, she would go, <laughs> like, what is that? I'm looking like, what are you huffing and puffing for? You finna blow my house down? Like, what's going on? And she would make comments like, girl, you just got here. And I'll be like, I got here four hours ago. And she said, okay, and I've been here since 9 a.m. And I'm looking like, I don't care. I don't give a damn. Bitch, you're a GM. G to the M. Bitch, I'm just a regular worker. You are, this is, this is what you do. Y'all supposed to be here all day and not take breaks. Bitch, I'm not. So why can't I take my break? And y'all, she refused me to take breaks. Like she literally refused me to take breaks. And I was just like, wow, like this lady is crazy. Like she'll be like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, you cannot take a break today. Like we are too busy, mm-mm, we are way too busy. You cannot take a break. Mind you, I was not trying to take no like 30 minute breaks. Or, y'all, I literally just wanted, cause there was like an Auntie Anne's that was literally like a little bit further down from our store. I literally just used to like going to the Auntie Anne's, getting pretzels, eating the pretzels and coming right back and working. I was not trying to take like no long ass break or nothing like that. And I used to tell her that like, I just want to go to auntie Anne's and get some food like i'm hungry she'd be like mm -mm, mm -mm, we too we too we too uh we too busy we too busy and then you know what she would say to be petty say you can clock out and go home if you want to do that you can clock out and go home and i knew she was being petty because i'm looking at her like you just said that we too busy so then why would you tell me to clock out and go home instead if you know that we're too busy and i'm the only person in this area like you're being petty for what i did not like this lady bro like i did not like her At this time i didn't already tell my friend like yeah it's raps like <laughs> it's raps I, I don't care to work here no more like this lady is weird i just had already told my friend by the time new year's come i'm gonna put in my two weeks and i'm gonna dip out like i can't go into the next semester the next school year with this negative energy like i just i can't i can't with her like mm -mm, like i do not like this lady and i was always working with her like she was always the manager of the day and i used to hate it oh so i remember one time this was during like um what time when was this during I don't remember it was during like a big sale i don't know if it was black friday no it wasn't black was it black friday was it black friday so okay so i am kind of telling the story out of order am i okay so the chris the, i know for a given fact the christmas party was before black friday yeah the christmas party was before black friday oh was black friday was it black friday i don't know what type of sale it was y'all please do not quote me on it but it was like a big sale that was going on i think it was black friday because that was the day that like everybody worked that night or whatnot she goes on the schedule again and she tries to like put me to work that friday from like 10 a.m to like 7 p.m and i'm looking at her like i can't work that shift and she's like why like she said it just like that y'all and i'm looking at her like do you fucking have dementia or what like do we need to check you in or what like i didn't already told your ass that i work at ulta on friday at 4 p.m so why are you scheduling me till 7 p.m here don't you get about it and so she's like why like why can't you do it and i'm like because i work at ulta and she's like 
well, well, what are you gonna do? She said, because you, you can't be the only one not working these shifts. She said, everybody is working that day. Like, you cannot get out of this. Like, mm -mm, like I don't know what to tell you. That's how, y'all, that's how she used to talk. I swear that she's like, mm -mm, I, I don't know what to tell you. But you need to tell me something. Because I don't know. Can you help me? <laughs> Baby, can you help me? Like, you need to tell me something. Because, bitch, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you either. So, I just was like, well, I told you. Like, I already, Ota already makes our schedules. Like, I, I work that day. So, she's like, well, can you work an overnight shift on Thursday? Because, remember, y'all, remember, I never used to work on Thursday. Because... I, I think I had like late classes on Thursdays and Tuesdays but um so yeah like I never used to work on Thursday so she's like well can you work a late night shift on Thursday and let it flow into the Friday night because I think it was Black Friday it was Black Friday she's like well could you work that and so I was just like yeah I guess I'll work that like I usually can't but I guess I'll do it because she said the rules are everybody has to work that day so I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll do it. So she ends up being petty, y'all. This lady schedules me. I'm going to say, I, don't quote me on the times, but I'm going to say she scheduled me like a 6 p.m. at night till like 8 a.m. in the morning the next day. That's 6 to 8. Let's do the math. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight. That's damn near a 14 hour shift. It was like a 12 or a 14 hour shift. Mind you, I was looking at everybody else's shifts. Everybody had like a cool like eight, nine hour shift. I'm looking like, why would you schedule me a 12, 14 hour shift? Like what do you, like what in your head will make you feel that that's like, like that was acceptable. You trying to be funny and I don't like it because you know that I have to go work at Ulta later on that day. And you're mad at the fact that I did not take the original shift. Mind you, the original shift that she gave me was like only eight hours. So why did you add four more hours to an eight-hour shift for what? Knowing that I have to go work at my other job that same day. Like, you're being petty for what? I don't know. So when I seen that, I'm like, <laughs> like, that's literally what I said. And I told myself, bitch, I come in when I feel like it. I don't care. So I looked at my friend's schedule and... I'm going to say, let's say I was working at 6. My friend was working at like 9. I, I said, bitch, <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. And I'm going to go hard. And I'm going to go hard. Bitch, I'm going in. I'm going in when you go in. I'm going in when you go in. So, y'all, I didn't pulled up to that damn parking lot before 9. And I waited in the car. For my friend to come. Mind you, my friend was on the phone. And my friend is laughing, of course, as usual. And if she watches this, she probably gonna be laughing while watching it. She's like, bro, you're bad. Like, she's just laughing. And she's like, you're out of line. I'm like, no, like, she's out of line. Like, why would this lady schedule me for this long? Like, what makes this whole think I'm gonna work this shit? You know? My friend ends up parking her car. And we're in the parking lot. And my friend is laughing so hard. Like, because she's just looking at me like, you are out of line. She just could not believe that I did not come. Like, I did not. Y'all, I didn't care. I didn't care. I did not care. So when I walked in, extra was me mugging the fuck out of me. Like, when I say she was me mugging me, y'all, she was me mugging the hell out of me. Even her other manager, because they, um, whatchamacallit, uh, one of her friends got hired too. I forgot to add that. One of her friends that was a manager got hired under her. And that girl was me mugging me too. Bitch, I'm looking at both of them like, what are y'all looking at? Y'all better be happy I made it. Because I wasn't even supposed to work this shit. I don't even work on Thursday. So y'all better be happy I made it. Y'all over here looking at me like that for what? Like for what? So she, look, she literally looked at me and she was like... Like, the look on her face was like, really? And the fact that I came in with my friend, she was not happy. And I'm looking at her like, yeah, bitch, I did it and what? <laughs> and what? Like, pop me. Is somebody going to pop me? Oh, okay. So, mind you, her friend is giving me that same exact look, too. Like, why would you do that? And I went up to the friend. I didn't, y'all, I didn't even pay her no mind. I said, um, where do you want to put me? <laughs> y'all, I'm, I'm very, like, once I don't care, I don't care. Like, it's nothing you can do to make me care. I was like, um... Where do you want to put me? And she's just looking at me like, really? Like, she's looking... Like, mind you, her friend was cool. Like, she was all right. But I never really worked with her friend like that. So her friend was like, um, go to this area. Like, her friend looked at the pamphlet. We all had a pamphlet of where they were assigning us. So she looked at the pamphlet and she was like, go to this area. 
Bitch, I look at the area, bitch. I can't even see my friend in the store no more. Y'all separated us? Damn. I don't want to be here no more. Yeah, y'all. They separated us. They separated us. And I'm like, y'all childish as hell. Like, it was very, it was given very calculated. And it was given that they did not want us to be near each other. Because, like, she literally was, I think they had her on the cash registers. And then they had me, like, in the back folding clothes. Like, the entire night. And it was a sale. So, like, everybody was trashing the store. And I was just so annoyed. Like, I was so irritated. I was so annoyed. And, yeah, like, I ended up um, telling her, like, I told, um, what you call it, extra, hey, I'm about to clock out. Because they had, I don't know if they had us telling the managers when we're about to leave so the managers could keep count of us that day since it was so busy. And so I went and told extra, like, hey, I'm about to clock out. And she just ignored me. Like, she didn't even say anything. She just acted like she didn't hear me. She was in the back on the computer, like... I walked up to her and I was like, hey, I'm about to clock out. And like, she's just on the thing with her Fantasia wig. Bitch, I almost snatched the damn wig out of her head, but I just went home. I was like, I don't care. I needed na I needed to sleep anyway. So I went home, I took a little nap and then I got ready to go to Ulta that day. But um, yeah, so then the new year comes. Let's fast forward to the new year. So the new year comes and at this time, like she's not really talking to me anymore. She's not really bothering me anymore. I feel like she just kind of peeped. This girl gonna do what she want to do. Like... <laughs> I think she just kind of peeped that like she kind of peeped like she gonna do what she want to do and y'all I got my job done don't get it twisted because I know y'all hearing this story and y'all probably thinking oh you were playing at the job does this no I got my job done like I always got my job done my area was always clean everything like I knew how to fold clothes really good she would like come over and like try to bother me like she'll be like who taught you how to fold like that like that is not how you fold get away from me like you doing too much like you nitpicking at me way too much you're not nitpicking at nobody else but me like she would literally come and say who told you how to fold like that mm -mm, you got to do it like this and by the time she gets done doing it i'm looking at her like apples and oranges it's the same shit like you like what are you what are you showing me you know so i was over it but then i was just over it and i told my friend i'm leaving so i went up to her one day this is like the new year, like the beginning of the new year. School had just started. I'm like, uh-uh, I ain't going into the new school year with this type of negative energy. I'm just not. Like, I need to focus on my classes. And I just, I knew that if I took this leap of faith that I was not going to have as much money anymore because I was just going to go back to working at Ulta on the weekend. But y'all, my sanity, my freedom was way worth it because another thing that um extra was doing was extra was uh uh in the, in the last semester before before christmas came extra was like trying to schedule me extra was basically like trying to schedule me on days that she knew i could not work like days that i literally told her i couldn't work I would see her trying to schedule me and I would have to call her and she would like have attitudes like it would be a hassle for her to take me off the clock like she was purposely picking at me I could purposely feel her doing little like doing little weird things because she didn't like me and when I blew up on her like that at that at that Christmas party she just hated me after that so she would do little things to like pick at me so like I just thought to myself I am not going into the school year with this type of energy I am not going into this school year with this type of vibes or anything like that I'd rather be broke um I wanted my freedom I used to miss just roaming around campus throughout the weekdays and just being free like I used to miss going to classes and coming home and sleeping and then going to the gym and then going to the engineering building and hanging out with my friends at night and mind y'all like I told y'all before my other friend did not work at guess mind y'all might I add, my other friend's schedule never got tampered with, but mine did. My other friend's schedule never got tampered with, but mine did. That lady hated me. So I was just thinking to myself, it's not worth it. So I went up to her and I told her, hey, I'm putting in my two weeks. And she was just like, okay. Like, that's literally how she said it, y'all. Like, she said it on some like, whatever. Like, I don't care. Like, she, she was just like, okay. And then I was like... And I walked off and I went back on the floor because I was working that day. So I went back on the floor or whatnot. I made sure to tell her um, right then and there because when she started working, she started making um, the schedules like earlier than when Huggies was making the schedule. I remember Huggies was like making the schedule like the week of, but she was making the schedules like way earlier. 
So I made sure to tell her right when she made the schedule because extra was extra. And when people was putting in their two weeks, she was like basically taking them completely off the schedule for those next two weeks. If you if like basically let me let, let me explain it. If you went up to her, let's say she made the schedules on Tuesday. If you went up to her on Monday and said, hey, I'm putting in my two weeks. By the time the schedules come out on Tuesday, you will not be on those at, on the schedule for a whole two weeks. It's like you're done from that day that you told her you were done. She was doing childish shit like that. So I peeped, this, I peeped what she was doing. So I waited for her to make the schedule. And then as soon as I seen the schedule posted on the, on the wall, that's when I told her, hey, I'm putting in my two weeks. And by then I was already set. So you could tell that like she was irritated by what I did. Like you could tell she peeped because she was like, okay. And I was just in my head, I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> Like, okay, like, I don't care. And I just walked on the floor and I worked my two weeks and that's it, y'all. Like, she did not say bye. I think I worked my last shift with her. She did not say bye or nothing. And yeah, that was my experience working retail at a clothing store. And I told myself, I would never, ever work retail again. Like, I know I was working retail at Ulta and it was a lot. But I loved makeup. So, you know, I love makeup. And not only did I love makeup, I love my coworkers and I love some of my managers too. So it kind of balanced the craziness of working at Ulta. But like working retail at a clothing store is for the birds. Like I'm no, no. And then working with managers that are very troublesome and just very like have and, and don't like you. Ugh, no, like no no thank you and I think my friend ended up working there a couple of more months and then she quit too but yeah y'all that's what happened like that's the story time and I don't even know what I'm gonna title this uh, like working with crazy managers I don't know what I'm gonna title it but yeah that's the story time and y'all let me know how y'all feel y'all let me know have y'all ever had a manager like that have y'all ever had a weird manager and y'all when I really thought about it, I'm like, we was sitting up here talking all this shit about Huggies, saying that Huggies is this, Huggies is that. Bitch, I was taking Huggies any day before I took Extra. Extra was extra. Like, she was too much. Mm-mm. She was just, mm-mm. I didn't like it. But yeah, y'all, if you guys like this story time, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please like the video, y'all. I know y'all be forgetting, but please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. I love you guys so much, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.